showing you how to do the super easy, super cute, festive Easter spring nails. So I've already done my right hand and now I'm obviously going to do the left. These are the main colors uh, that I'm using today. These are the new Wet n Wild Easter Spring Collection. I've actually been looking for these for a couple of weeks and I finally found them in Walgreens. So if you are in the same boat as me, that is where you can find them. And just because I feel like they were missing a shade, I'm using Sinful Colors Unicorn. All the polishes and their names will be listed in the info box down below. I'm gonna start out with my least favorite color in the collection. This is called Love Fest. It's just kind of a sheer pink. I actually needed, uh, needed three coats of this one. with just one coat it's still sheer um, but yeah you will see how I layer them up for the middle finger I am using breeze on by this color is fantastic I would call this like a darker periwinkle color um, and I think it is true to what it looks like in the bottle, so. Then it's super pigmented, look at it. On the ring finger, we're going to use the purple shade. It is called Layout in Lavender. And this is a very pretty, look at it on this finger, very pretty lavender color. The only thing I don't like about these polishes is the brush on it. I feel like I'd rather a smaller brush than this huge one. I feel like sometimes I don't have control over it and with different um, polishes, with each polish, the brush varies a little bit. Um, on this polish it's really nice so I have no, no complaint there but sometimes it comes out a little jagged or whatever. And on the pinky nail I'm using probably my favorite color in the whole collection. This is called Kiss My Mints. I may actually go and um, pick up another one of these just because I feel like it's very similar to Sally Hansen uh, Refreshment or what is that shade called by Sally Hansen? Mint Sorbet, I think it's called. Um, yeah, look, like one coat and it's already super opaque. And yeah, these polishes were $2 each, so they're crazy affordable. And this is all the polishes with just one coat. I'm gonna put another coat on each um, of these nails and I'll be right back. I'm not gonna show that just cause for the sake of saving time. So I did two really thick coats of the paint and I think I'm going to leave it. So, safe to say these are all two coaters, if, even if you have to do two thick coats, and this is the thumb. I'm just going to uh, use this, this metal Bath & Body Works thing to plop the polish down. So I'm gonna let these dry and then I'm gonna go in with a ASP, ASP? No, IBD uh, just builder gel to really lock it in. And honestly, I'm just trying to use this up <laughs> and I there's not a lot left, so, you know, why not? Um, so I'll be back to do my gel. Oh. 
Oh. Yeah, we're out the light. We've just alcoholed. Alcoholed my Easter nails. Easter nails, Easter nails. We do this to take the tacky layer off, and I just tried it with witch hazel and it did not work, so you most definitely need alcohol, and I'm running out, so I will need to get more. And of course, I have this cuticle oil. I usually use the Sweet Baby Donna one um, that I get from Etsy, but I mean, it's cuticle oil. Who cares what kind? So these are the finished nails. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and thank you so much for watching. Bye!